Kingsman Entertainment and Kingsman Media Group. From Cuba. I know that. And he's been a cigar maker for some 22 years. And, um, you know, they, they contacted me and, uh, they were either supposed to call me back, which is that's what I thought they were going to do, or I was going to. Is this your name? Or I, I, I don't think I was going to call them back. Uh, but we haven't followed up with Oh, yeah, he goes back to that. Let me see what you tell your wife I will definitely tell her that. And it's good to see you again. pressed into the wooden molds. That's how you get your shape. You can see that the holes on this mold correspond to the circumference of the cigar. So they came out of there pressed and ready to go. And what he's been doing here is working with the final leaf of tobacco. This is the outside wrapper leaf that was grown outside of Hartford, Connecticut, here in the U.S. Yeah, Connecticut. No, I just picked it back when I was a kid. Really? You're from up there? Oh yeah, that's very hard work. He worked very hard up there. Well, here's the thing. They grow it up there, as he probably yeah. told you, under the cheesecloth, under the muslin, yeah. and that muslin filters out extra wind, rain, and sun, and it That's makes right. the tobacco wider and also thinner, which is great for outside wrapper tobacco. Right. But guess what it is up underneath that muslin, because this is what you need to grow good tobacco. You don't need a lot of rain. You need a lot of humidity. <laughs> That's why they had the muslin over top, and when he was working in there as a kid, were you ever as hot? Oh, I mean, no, it's, it was I hot. It was hot. Butt, picking them, them suckers off those things. You taking the tobacco? Yeah, that's right. Then they take the tobacco and to dry it, they sew it together in what they call hands, and then they hang it into drying barns. Okay, and that's the air that naturally dries the tobacco, but it's not done yet because tobacco, as this young man will tell you, when it's very young like that, it is full of ammonia. I mean, there, it just reeks. It's very, very, very stenchy, okay? So to help with that, what they do is they'll take that tobacco and they'll stack it into four foot cubes and they'll allow the tobacco to ferment. It's like a paste. Heat will build up in the middle of it. Once it gets to 140 degrees, they flip it over. That ferments the tobacco. Then they will take that tobacco, a lot of times from Connecticut, and they'll ship it to Pennsylvania. They'll ship it to Pennsylvania where they...